It's the Pacific Northwest Geek here. Echo! Zero here. Well, it's time for my final thoughts on Velma. Hmm, 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 hmm. Wow, um... Where to start? Well, I first heard about this show when people were getting an uproar that they were going to be changing Velma's nationality and I think even her sexuality. I have no problem with that kind of stuff. As long as the stories or stories are good and the person either voicing or playing the character if it's live action do a good job or a good. Like we see that with uh, Little Mermaid that they did that with Little Mermaid. I know nothing about the actress playing Little Mermaid so I'm not going to, you know jump in the bandwagon of attacking that one until I see it because hey she might end up doing an awesome job I'm not gonna know until I see it but in this case it wasn't awesome it was badly done uh, the art I uh, kind of liked the art a bit um, but the story and the performances I, I didn't Velma in this Velma classically was like the smart one the intelligent one the brains Fred was the kind of like the jock of the group, the guy who drove them around, was brave and strong. Daphne was the beautiful girl, and Shaggy was the comical relief, the stoner with his talking dog, and Velma was the brains. Velma in this, in this one is an outright bitch who shits on everybody, including uh, Shaggy, you know, Oneva, who's supposed to be a, a her really only friend, who she shits all of him and uses him and doesn't care that she's doing this. She does essentially the same thing to to Daphne, who's supposed to be her former friend, and when they start to repair the friendship, she starts the shit all over her. I think she even does the same with Fred. So she uses people. She shits on her own father. And her, she has she gets a half sister, I think it is, eventually. Shits on them too. She's a bitch. And no one really calls her out for it because probably not going to do no good because she won't see it the way she treats people um the humor in this was uh a guy gets his leg cut off they reattach it and it keeps coming off uh whenever they, a body is found without his brain Velma goes she's got no brain when she's supposed to be working a stripper pole to get her dad's attention just for the hell of it was that supposed to be funny or something um it's just the humor just Duh. Falls flat. Um, were they going for edginess? Maybe. Within the first less than five minutes of the first show, we see uh, Daphne. Some of the other characters are butt naked, but they're using um, soap studs to hide really anything. Like, you might be hearing my cat snoring. Um, some of the stuff like uh, like like that. Like the, the Velma's friends call themselves Velma. Her friends call themselves sluts. Um, like a badge of honor. Um, Fred is supposed to have a small wee wee who can't take care of himself. Everybody has to cut stuff his own food from causing cutsies. Who we find out that his mother watches him when he urinates, when he pisses, and he seems to have no problem with it. He makes a joke and first or second episode about sickle cell and emo that did not go over it completely pissed people off uh, it's like I think I'd heard people wondering if they were intentionally trying to sabotage this were they doing this on attention they had to have known something like that was not going to go over um, not going to go over at all so did they intentionally um, shit all over this and I think we talk about season 2 and it does end in a way where they could do a season two, but will we get a season two? I mean, this was ranked in the top, not the top five, but the top three worst shows of all time, I believe, well, the last 10, 15, 20 years or whatever. It got a shitload of hate, shit, shitload of bash. They turned comments off on the video for this. And at one point, I think I saw that they were doing that for a tweet or two, because they were getting a lot of negativity. It was becoming a thing to get bashed. I watched it just to check it out to see, you know, exactly what all this um, anger was about. And then I wanted to see who the killer was. 
what was going on. Boy, those last two episodes were... Episode 9 was a filler. It seems like they just kind of... You know, oh, we need to get out 10 episodes, not 9, so let's just put this in there. And it all turns out to be Fred's mom, who, because Fred is a pathetic little shit, um, wants to put someone else's brain in him so he can be successful when he takes over the business. And then she dies. And... Because Velma shows that uh, that she might want actually might want Shaggy over Daphne. Now nobody wants to be the, the, the four of them, with the exception of Shaggy and Velma. The four of them weren't close, but now no one's close. They just phew, off, and Velma has her dad kicked out, his dad's woman kicked out, and her half sibling kicked out because she has a mommy and she doesn't care about anything else. Dude, you kicked a newborn baby out. No, fuck, dude, that's messed up. Um, I can see the uproar, and I would advise, if you're going to watch this, be warned, it's, it's not Shag. I mean, Scooby-Doo is a cool franchise. It has a successful formula. A group of, of teenagers go around solving mysteries, and they travel in perhaps in some kind of vehicle, and they have some kind of Comical Relief, some kind of talking type character. Uh, Speed Buggy was a talk talking car. Funky Phantom was a ghost. Uh, Captain Caveman was supposed to be this caveman who was supposed to be like the first superhero. There was one about a talking fish. I think there was one about a flea or something, an inch high in detective or whatever. Probably about that big. Um, and you can see why, though, Scooby Doo has lasted for over 50 years since 1969. You know, movies and shows and video games and toys, you know, live action stuff. It's it was popular. This is the at black eye on a popular franchise. Um, I'm probably gonna go back and watch some of the older ones, even though the older cartoons, the original ones, used the laugh track. Well, my cat's snoring right now. Um, watch at your own discretion. Like I said, it's. And maybe, you know, if you watch this, you might like the humor. You might like it. I didn't. And it's not because of some of the stuff that people are saying. I just really thought it was terribly written. And I remember I was, at one point, I was sick. Wasn't, was feeling like shit. And the joke was that, uh, I got sick because of watching this. It's, yeah, they do. When I got sick, did kind of coincide about the time I started watching this. Um... Wow. Um, if they do a season two, which I've heard about, I've heard a, a, a little rumbling of a season two. I don't know, man. Would it be a good idea to do a season two of a show that was shit on as much as it was? Um, maybe they could do some damage control, maybe? But a lot of people probably watch this for hate watching just to see what it was all about. Um... There's a lot of videos out there, including the one saying that apparently the actress who voiced um, Velma went quiet on social media. She was getting bashed. Yeah. HBO was getting bashed. I heard uh, they talked about Holly Quinn, which is a cool cartoon. I haven't watched the last season. I need, I need to. And um, them comparing the two, like, hey, well, they did something with Holly Quinn. Maybe they're trying to do the same thing with Scooby. Dude, if that's what they were going for, they didn't even hit close. And they didn't even get close to first base with the ball. Not even close to the pitcher's mound when they hit that ball, if that's what they're going for. Because it was... Because Holly Quinn's a cool cartoon. And it works well with that character. It just doesn't work well here. Um, anyways, I just got the first season of Haven, which is a show on... Uh, I was on um, Sci-Fi Channel, which is a cool show. I after I go, I gotta go out for a bit and take care of some stuff. But um, then I'm gonna probably come back and start watching Haven. Maybe I'll do some videos on Haven because I I liked Haven. Um, anyways, also I gotta watch a couple movies too to review them. Anyways, I am the Pacific Northwest Geek, Echo Zero, and I will see you on the flip side. Toodaloo.